Hey everyone, this is Gleb and today I want to show you how to take an application that has Cypress tests and then use a library like Chance for example to generate dynamic random data during testing. Here's our current test. We always add the same to do items and we check that the items are present on the page. Let me move it to the side and show how it looks. We always type buy some cheese and we check that, that buy some cheese is there. And then we type feed the cat and then we check that the feed the cat is present. And it always runs, but it's a little bit boring and you might think, okay, if I already have data there, maybe I can add buy some cheese because it's already present. So I need random data that's generated for this test. So let's see how we can do it. You might have noticed that I'm using little utility functions and items and literally I'm just importing them from utils, right? Um, this is just normal JavaScript, nothing fancy. I can always do a custom command. Uh, for example, in the support file, I add add to do custom command. So I can achieve the same result by saying sci add to do and then say item one and then I don't have to type it and I can do the same thing and I'll get a second item. So maybe that's a little bit easier, right? Using custom command to add to do and abstract, you know, the page. Uh, let's go to, we don't need this anymore. Let's go to this add to do Oops, support and see if uh, the text could be random. So imagine I remove text and instead I, for example, use a random and then even like use lodash included with Cypress and I do this, right? So instead of just random number, I can use a library like chance. So let's install it. I will add chance as a dev dependency and I'll say chance require chance and chance we need to use a constructor to get an instance and anytime TypeScript complains I'll just ignore it and instead of random number we can say chance let's say sentence with three words okay okay so the chance gave us a random sentence with three words and we use it so here's where the randomness comes into place and becomes a problem we generated a random sentence, but now our spec has no idea what that sentence is, so it cannot check it, all right? Now, we could do the following. We could wrap the text that we created inside the custom command. That means that custom command now yields the text, right? It yields the result of the last command in the custom command. So now we can say, okay, we don't know what we're going to do. Okay, we can remove this. But we know that this is the text. And now we can use that text inside side then inside the next command. Okay, one second. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing one more time. Text. Okay, so we uh, created a random sentence. Then we wrapped it so we yielded from custom commands and now we have the same text available there uh, all i have to do is probably say instead of a void it yields a string okay so let's see now add to do chainable okay i think this is better and we are not passing the string right so let's make it optional Okay, now our types agree. Okay, now we have randomly generated data that we use during the test. And notice that we yield the text to the next part of the test. And this is where I think a better way is not to generate dynamic data inside custom commands come into play. Because we really literally want to just generate, it becomes static after that. So what I would do instead of generating the data inside a custom command, 
I would move the generation into the spec itself. And I would still pass the text as a string right here. And we can yield it, that's fine. But like right here, I can say text one and generate it. And then I'll pass it right here. And I can say text one. And the same thing, I can do it for text two, pass it as an argument. And then I can get rid of all the callbacks. Okay, let's see if it works. It does work. But now notice that our custom commands uh, don't generate anything. Okay, and let me just update the types again. So we do require a string and it doesn't yield anything. Okay, we generate the text. It is static. We pass it to the custom command. Fine. And then we can still use the same variable value without any callbacks in the remaining of the test. So this was a quick example of using a library like Chance to generate dynamic data for your Cypress tests and then pass it to your custom commands and make it all work and make it convenient to work. So you don't have to use any callbacks because the data was just generated once and is available in the remaining part of a test.